There is no indication of a link, but the attacks in France took place just hours after a targeted U.S. drone strike in Syria, apparently killing the ISIS executioner known as Jihadi John. Chip Reed is tracking the story. With his angry rants and masked face, Mohammed Mwazi became a global symbol of the barbaric brutality of ISIS. Our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. In 2014, for all the horrified world to see, Jihadi John, as he became known, beheaded several Westerners, including three Americans, journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, and aid worker Peter Kossig. I mean, this guy was a human animal, uh, and, and killing him uh, is probably making the world a little bit better place. Army Colonel Stephen Warren in Baghdad today said the Pentagon is, quote, reasonably certain Mwazi was killed by a Hellfire missile fired from a U.S. drone near the ISIS stronghold of Raqqa, Syria. Mwazi was born in Kuwait but grew up mostly in London, where he became radicalized. He left for Syria in 2013. Critics of the Obama administration have long argued it is doing far too little to fight ISIS. White House spokesman Josh Earnest used the targeting of Mwazi to push back. I think it is clear evidence that we are making important progress in one element of our strategy, which is to apply pressure to the ISIL leadership. Outside his New Hampshire home, James Foley's father, John, saw things differently. Bombing him won't bring Jim back. It won't change the war. You know, we, we, we need to eliminate ISIS. Not Jihadi John, okay? For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Chip Reed in Washington.